Hi, this tutorial is going to be about all the new software that we've installed. It's um, quite a bit. Um, Arch Labs 4.0 and Yoda 4.1. We see a decrease in the ISO, in the size of the ISO. They've got rid of a lot of things, but not of the soul and the spirit of the system. And added a lot of stuff as well. Well, let, I'm following now my overview of Arch Labs, so I don't forget any uh, of those tools. I'm go going over them. And Rofi is one of them. Rofi is control spacebar. And you can just hover with right mouse click, you go down, or you can just start typing. And that's another way, another menu to start things, to, to install them, um, to, to, yeah, to start uh, applications. The second one, is OB menu 3. We've been using OB menu and well we had a lot of questions about people saying mm, we don't understand it and this and that so we changed the GUI menu editor and we went to OB menu 3 and um, we, we are checking out if this can be of assistance. Now at this point in time I'm using my OB menu generated one so not a standard XML so we can't read it, so we can't open it, that's normal because now we are piping, that's the word here we ha I have um, a menu that's uh, figuring out what's installed and it's making this menu that's all explained on every part on another tutorial but this is OB menu 3 and you can edit a menu and you make it here in a graphical way my preference still, I'm not using that too much I must say and that my preference is still going to open box going to the menu and edit it there. So here, as you can see, you're using the OB menu generator, but uh, otherwise it's filled with XML codes. That's OB menu three for you. There is also font manager. Let's use another application to get there. Font manager is this here. While I, when I was making these new conkeys, uh, any text, any, any fonts and stuff like that, I had the need to double click on these fonts to install them. In many distros, you do have the possibility to double click um, a font and then it's installed. So now we can do as well and we can manage them here. So that's, that's that. Let's quit it. Glances. Glances is quite interesting. We have HTOP. Let's take a look at that one. Ah, that's HTOP. And that's Glances. So it's similar. Provides some information about your system. It's ideal for, for servers and stuff like that. So you can keep an eye what's going on. At this point in time, I'm making a simple screen recording. As you can see, 100% CPU. But that's not the case. But anyhow. That's um, what he's doing. That's glances. Temps is this one. Mm, this is temps. Quite nice. The color is changing with the temperature. So the higher it gets, the warmer the colors go and becomes orange and so on. And when it's cold, it's blue and green and stuff like that. So that's the vision of this um, engineer. Inksy is new. It's in there for you guys to help us tell you on what system you are because sometimes your questions are so technical that we need more information. And INXE, Inksy minus F gives us all the information we want or we may need. JPEG is also an interesting program. I use it a lot with the tutorials. Let's take another way to launch it, but I have to launch it here like so no I, I do want it here my friend otherwise you don't see it on my tutorial and there you are so gpic is installed quite interesting tool for instance you have this this thing here this color you say wow it's not nice these colors i want these colors to pop up in this conky what i do is start gpic and press on one of these swatches Press spacebar to sample color and I just go like in a frenzy over all the colors with my spacebar and the red maybe as well. So now I know what colors they are, I even know their names, it's also interesting to know. 
I sometimes uh, use the names for the Saturday icons. So the Havlik Blues, uh, Deep Sky, those things that I recognize from Saturday. So here you go, you just copy paste the color and then you pop it in, in the Conky. That's JPEG for you. Then the thumbnailer is an, um, well, an, an user. Please give us information, give us feedback. So this is feedback from a user saying we could use some more thumbnail programs. Then I can't really show that. It depends on what kind of thumbnail I have. I think it was a film thumbnail he wanted. So I cannot show you that. Then we have also installed GLX Info and GLX Info is now also included when we run our um, NeoFetch. So that's okay. Redshift is a program up here which is going to darken my screen. You can suspend it, you can auto start it. Info, this is voila, the day, he knows where I live and the daytime and so on. Then, um, Minstick, don't forget it, Minstick. Since we have now our, our menu generated menu here, Minstick is just available here. USB image writer, so I have an USB, I pop it in, and I write the image, I take my ISO, like so, I pop in my USB, and when I pop it in, it comes in here, and I write it. As simple as that. Very efficient, over six, so 66 distros have been written with this ISO in the development of Sardi and Surfing icons. Um, I was going to the other one, blah, blah, blah. the stick formatter. You can format something as well to whatever you want and then that's just fine. That's, I don't care about anything else, that's just what I need. And some stability, which Minstick provides. Then we have Vivaldi. Vivaldi is a browser you might not know. Everybody uses um, uses Chrome, it seems. If you go look on the Google Analytics of the websites, you know how many people are using Chrome, Firefox, and all that. So Vivaldi Snapshot, I think it's going to be big. It's going to be fast. It's a tool you should try out and well, let us know if I'm right or wrong. Give us feedback. If all is done, hard info is another program. Let's use Rofi this time. He knows I'm going to use hard info. How about that? There you go. So it's a similar thing like Inksy, but then it's graphical. It's a bit nicer to show, like so. Okay, that's done. Peak. Let's do another one like so. Peak. Anything that's in this um, area is going to be, come on, is going to be created, going to be made as an animated GIF, so we end up with a GIF. This has been included because a lot of people say this happens on my machine and this happens on my machine, but we can't see it. So this makes sure, this will make sure that we can see what errors and what problems come up. You just press record. Do your stuff, the pop-up comes, and then you stop it, you save it, you show, and here you go. This is what we've recorded. Isn't that nice? And it keeps on looping as many times as we want, as long as we understand what's happening on your system. That's great. So let's speak for you. GNOME Disk Utility, from time to time we do need it. I know, it's GNOME and all that. But it's a, a great utility, for instance, you know, well, GNOME Disk Utilities is the program to install it. It's called GNOME Disks if you want to run it. It gives you some information about what it's installed on. We have here an SSD, and as you can see, there are lots of things that we can investigate and check and all that, and also format and format it, uh, etc. So, for instance, when you have an external hard drive and you want to do something with it, format it or, or anything like that, then it, you can do it here. There's also Gparted, of course. Let's see if that works. Voilà, Gparted. Root privileges are required. So what we do, 
right mouse click, preferences, system settings, GeoParts. And now we have this GK sudo in front of it, and that's that. And here you go, that's the same vision, more or less. And by here you can say, I want to get rid of this, so I want to get rid of that. You can do lots of stuff up here. And that's, well, about hard disks. The AUR vote just uh, just made it to installation. People asking what's this. So we have this AUR vote and there's a separate tutorial about that, how you um, set that right. But you have to have a login in the AUR packages website and use the login and the password. Downgrade, just somebody asked on Google Plus. So downgrade is also quite interesting. From time to time you get something in and you say wow I, I don't want this new firefox i want the old firefox back so i want to downgrade and you just take a number 25 for instance will be this line and firefox current firefox will be deleted then old one will be installed and it will even be blocked with the next updates so you don't get it back in so that's quite interesting the done is done great we've chosen for downgrade but there's also downgrade dir so if you have problems with the first one take the second one and last but not least and i cannot show you i have installed also google talk plugin so well I, uh, if you want to talk to somebody then that's that i guess we've uh, checked everything there's only one thing i see when i check my article and that's telling you that the most common shortcut is also now present in Arch Labs. Control, Alt, Backspace. I'm not going to press it since this is going to reboot my X server. But if something hangs and you want to start or something bugs you or just want to quit everything, well, Control, Alt, Backspace is the way to go. All right, have fun using Arch Labs.